Hey, Coyote Nation, <laughs> happy Wednesday to you. Hopefully you are having a great week. It is our first week back, getting back into regular life after the big shutdown, right? Have you noticed a big difference? Oh, goodness, man. Yes. I'm fired up, man. Good. I can't. I can't wait. Yeah, I went in and got uh, got some takeout food for dinner last night, uh, but there were people in there eating, of course, and it was packed. It was greatness. Yep. So go get it. And as uh, Casey and Rounder have been saying the last couple of days, go spend some money locally, man. A lot of these businesses really hurting after uh, the shutdown, so they need some business. Get out there. Yeah, absolutely. That's, it. That's all you got to do. You got to get out there and spend some money. I tell you what. Last weekend, Saturday especially, was crazy busy on the water. Did you notice that? Yeah, it was like a 4th of July weekend. It really was. It was nuts. Crazy. I thought about swimming across a cove to come see you. Did you? Yeah. I we wouldn't... live real close to each other. Not right, Actually, far. right across the cove. Yeah. Couldn't so, swim, though. No, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, wouldn't try that. No, anyway. Probably would have been hurt doing that. <laughs> I'm guessing. So. A, I tire easily. So you are wearing a, uh, of course... This is J Jason Stapleton. Oh, yeah, my name. He is our Director of Business Development and our Kansas City Chiefs super fan. Okay? Lots to talk about because we just had the NFL draft. Mm -hmm. They've been picking up a bunch of quarterbacks. And, yeah, running backs. You know, running backs and, yeah, all that stuff. It? So you got to be excited about that. But you're wearing this Chiefs 11 jersey. What story behind that? That's a sweet jersey, man. That's... Uh, a jersey of a former quarterback, Alex Smith, right? All right. I want to talk about Alex Smith. Okay. Okay? Everyone got to listen to me. Alex Smith is my new favorite chief. He's not and, even a chief and, anymore. And, and you're right. And he wasn't my favorite chief when he was a chief. But since I, in the last three days, he has become my favorite chief. Before, it was Jamal Charles or Priest Holmes. Really? At the end of the day. If I want to be, I, I really, those are my two favorite. Derek Thomas, of course. But right now, I'm telling you. Not Patrick Mahomes? Not Patrick Mahomes. Huh. Alex Smith, everybody. Listen, right now on ESPN, there are two series that you need to watch. And one series, I think you've talked about it uh, on your sports break today. Yeah, yeah talking a lot about the, it uh, lately in Last the Dance. Renegade Radio Sports Updates. Yeah. Michael Jordan's Last Dance. Should watch that. It's been very interesting. There's another series, and it's called Project 11. Which is even better. That's about Alex Smith and his journey and his trials and his struggles through what he's going through right now. And if I had my choice of what I wanted my kids, my young athletes, to watch between The Last Dance and Project 11, I'm picking Project 11. Alex Smith is damn near heroic. And yeah. I, let me... We're talking about a guy, Chris, and we're going to uh, go back in time here a little bit. He was drafted first round, first draft pick out of all the college athletes, San Francisco 49ers. Number one overall. Yep. And when he was asked yeah, for San Francisco 49ers, they had a decent years. But if you remember right, there was never no stability. He had no weapons. Alex is the way it was. Now, he John Harbaugh. Because Mike Singletary was the coach with the San Francisco 49ers for a while. I'm not sure who the other coach was that he played with. I'm not sure if you could recall or not. I think it was uh, one of the Harbaugh's, the ones that's in Michigan now. Yes. Well, he came and uh, really brought some stability yeah. to the they, 49ers. They actually went to a Super Bowl. Well, as a matter of fact, they loaded up on weapons. The, the year they go to the Super Bowl, Alex Smith gets injured late in the year. And guess who leads them into the Super Bowl? Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. So Alex Smith has got to watch Boo on Colin Kaepernick, the Super Bowl the on the sidelines of his own team. Now, 2012, Kansas City Chiefs. If you're a Chiefs fan, you know what this year is because that's the year we went 2-14. and 14. That's the year 2-14. and 14. It was the hardest year in to date that I can recall of having the hardest time being a Chiefs fan. Really? The losing over and over and the ugliness and that was the year banners were flying over overheads. Fire Scott Pioli. Bring, you know, revitalize our Chiefs. Bring them back. Banners. Arrowhead has never acted that way. Stands were kind of empty. Bags over the heads of fans. It, unprecedented for Arrowhead. Yeah. It was really a bad time. Two of 14, us Chiefs weren't having it. 2012. And, then, and if 2012. And if things could not get worse at the end of the season in December, uh, Javon Belcher. Murders his girlfriend and then drives to Arrowhead parking lot and shoots himself in front of Scott Pioli and then head coach Romeo Cornell. I remember that. As if the season and year could not get any worse, 
That happened. It almost sucks the fun out of liking the You're French. depressing me, man. It's really bad. Now, I did that on purpose, though, because okay. well, I wanted you to feel it. Because okay. that's how I felt. It was I'll bad news. It. Bears. Well, that next year, we bring in a coach named Andy Reid. Andy Reid was a legendary coach, still is, but he never had a Super Bowl title. Not Super Bowl. And Andy Reid goes and brings in Alex Smith from San Francisco. At the time, man, none of, I wasn't very happy about it, Chris. I'm not sure if you know or not, but we have a history of San Francisco quarterbacks. Steve Bono, Elvis Gerbach, Joe Montana, and now we got Alex Smith. No one's excited. He was just a kind of a gay manager, right? We bring him over, and he was absolutely what our franchise needed. Yeah. And he came in <laughs> like a winner. And he really, between him and Andy Reid, went some personal struggles at that point, too, with his son dying. Mm -hmm. And our Chiefs franchise, man, the, Alex Smith is, for me, is to thank for our Super Bowl, if you want to be frank with it. Well, and yeah, I mean, he was good on the field. And he also, I think, helped train up Patrick Mahomes. He, he came in. He leads us to the playoffs, revitalizes our franchise, only then to have the same thing occur again, which he gets injured. We drafted. We didn't get injured, but he did eventually. We drafted Patrick Mahomes. Alex Smith injured. Patrick Mahomes plays against Denver the final year of Alex Smith being a chief. And the next season, Alex Smith lost his job to another rookie, to another young talent. Mm -hmm. And then goes off to Washington Redskins. Yeah. And then things got even worse. Well, you know, I, I, they, he, they were having a good year yeah. as far as win-losses. They were in contention. They, he was obviously doing there what he was doing in Kansas City, which was revitalizing the Washington Redskins. That's why they brought him there and paid him the money. We need revitalization. Do hear what you did in Kansas City. Because he was that special. In Kansas and that's City. what he was doing. And then he takes on an injury, blows his fibula, and his knee just, it, it was sideways. It was the most horrific injury to date. I, I, I don't know if you could pick another one in football. It's, it was terrible. And, uh, man, the rehab, he's been going through it since then. And the dude is coming back to play. Well, and did he, he broke the leg. Broke the leg. I think I saw a report that it was broke from the ankle all the way up to the knee. Yes. Now, I'm not right. sure how that's possible, but that's, that's gruesome. And, man, he's walking. I see some drills on this Project 11. I see some clips. Watch this. I haven't seen it yet. i got to be up front. But I've seen clips enough that it moves, it moves you. Because the adversity this guy is facing right now. Forget all the ups and lows. The, the being drafted number one to losing your job to Colin Kaepernick to watching the Super Bowl on the sidelines. Then to go into Kansas City. We're revitalizing this franchise, Kansas City Chiefs. Then to lose your job yet to another newcomer. And then to watch them make the Super Bowl the next year, you got shipped away. And then to go to Washington Redskins to revitalize your own career, get this going again, and then just to end up blowing up your leg and your knee and your entire way of life. He almost, there, his life was actually really threatened. He had some complications with infections. And uh, his act, if you watch the, the, some clips, he's he got, like... So it's a really a great overcoming story. He's right? a hero. Yeah. The dude is a hero. And I'm not talking about athletically. I'm talking about as far as inter, internal strength. Alex Smith, y'all, watch it, love him, and we'll have your kids love him too. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Alex Smith. So that's our man. Kansas City Chiefs yeah. uh, super fan talk. So you're also <laughs> our director of business development. There's your information if people want to get in contact with you. So business is busy. Business is coming back. Is that uh, man, what yeah. you're seeing? And I'll be honest with you. There's only a small portion of businesses that were really just kind of dead in the water during the shutdown. And I mean dead in the water as they may have had their doors closed, but they weren't taking their foot off the accelerator with the coyote and, and, and keeping their name out there and making sure people understand that they're still out here and ready to reopen. And now that they've reopened, man, it's like coming out of a... It's like, a, it's like a race. I think you have two different ways to handle this lockdown as a business. It's kind of like a pace car in an ass car race, right? Okay. You want to come out, you want to come into the start of the race off of a pace car. Right. You want to be picking up speed. Yeah. You're coming around. You're there, versus ready to go. Thumbling, fumbling for your keys. Right. Yeah. As the race is starting. Like you do every time you leave, you come back and get your keys. Because, man, I'm so excited. I'm so, I have I'm so excited to see you. I'm telling you, y'all, man. My days here. I work with the greatest staff. We got great people here. We got a great radio station. The killer, killer, killer shows. And uh, Angie, 
She can't hear. We you. got a door lady uh, that answers our door and it doesn't respond when you say right. anything. She just ignores you. Angie. Yeah. She's still ignoring Nothing. him. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So I love coming to work, man. I love leaving, and I love coming back. Right. <laughs> and uh, you've got some great, great shows on the air as you mentioned. Crystal and the Bear in the Morning, six to ten. They've been nominated for best show at the lake. Uh, you've got Jamie Turner, Middays. Great. He's our music genius. Some great information. Sure is. Uh, and then you got Casey and the Round Man, three to six in the afternoon. They've been nominated for Best Show at the Lake, and they win it every year. Yeah. Right? Sure. Uh, and then, of course, you've got Fitz at night. Yep. And Go. you've got... Quit saving yourself for last, Chris. <laughs> Renegade Radio Sports Jesus. updates. I'll do the Renegade Radio Sports updates. He's been nominated, too, y'all. Yeah, I'm not uh, sure how that happened. I'm not sure what's counting. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's three shows yeah. nominated from one station. How about that? And I'm not even a show. All right. uh, so, yeah. Renegade Thanks. Radio Sports updates. Wait, 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 wait. When is it going to be like a... A business development sales award. That nomination. needs to be out there, no doubt Man. about it. Yeah. I want it. Yeah. Well, you deserve it. Damn right I deserve it. Because you're wearing number 11. Hey, look. What's your favorite number? Oh, my favorite. Oh, man. That's, right now it's 11, man. Yeah. No, I, I got to say two. That was, my, that was my college football number. Ah, well, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. I was a quarterback, man. I never wore number two. Number two's always been good to me. Uh, number two. <laughs> Why don't I like number two no more? I don't even like it no more. Why? Why is number two good for you? Okay, so tomorrow <laughs> we've got Crystal. I don't know, man. Crystal in the bear tomorrow. I think I'm blushing. I'm about as red as your jersey. <laughs> so until tomorrow. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. That's messed up, man. You're like enjoying that. this too much. <laughs> All it's right. All right. I, can, I can be high yeah. like this. Well, you're in your chair, right? Yeah. Okay. Are we on? We are on. Crap. <laughs> <laughs>